Many states have been seeing widespread flu activity. Now Pennsylvania joins in. So you or someone you know may very well come down with it, which means you may have some questions, like the local picture. What are you seeing here in Allegheny County? Last week really showed a dramatic uptick in the number of cases that's happened nationally and it's also echoed here in Allegheny County. We're getting about 8 to 12 positive flu cases a day that we've been seeing in our emergency department. The flu is coming strong and early here. 1,700 laboratory confirmed cases now compared to 1,200 cases in the same time frame last year. We consider this to be a bit of the tip of the iceberg in terms of the number of people who are likely to have flu or to be exposed to flu. I worry about if someone has to go to the hospital. It would probably be just more the el elderly that would be hospitalized, but um, again, I don't know the severity of it, so it could actually could be anybody, I would guess. A higher percentage of cases are being hospitalized. We are seeing the complication of pneumonia at a higher rate this year than we've seen in several years. There have been many patients that have been hospitalized in the intensive care unit. Some have required mechanical ventilation. Um, many of them are requiring supplemental oxygen for days. We're using antiviral medication to treat them as well. It's definitely taken a toll as far as the amount of patients that have had to be admitted to isolation rooms. Uh, we currently have 40, but uh, we're not on diversion like uh, some, some of those things I heard in California. You may wonder what strains are circulating, but it may be confusing. I don't understand none of that part. I don't know what strains you're talking about. The predominant strain this year is H3N2. The H and N refer to the virus's surface proteins. The thing about H3N2, it can be hard to make vaccine against it, and the virus seems to be changing, making it harder to test in the lab. The years in which H3N2 is predominant, we tend to have more severe illness, especially in older patients. It's unclear whether it has to do with a more vigorous immune response, uh, lack of pre-existing immunity, or just more of a mismatch with the existing vaccine. I haven't gotten a flu shot yet this year either. wonder if those are really helpful or not. We anticipate it'll be low. It'll probably be lower than it's been in several years. We don't know if it'll be as low as it was in the southern hemisphere. We know the data from Australia showing 10% efficacy. And just clinically, we are seeing many cases, even in patients who've been vaccinated. A flu shot is still your best bet for preventing the flu. While it may not be as good as hope this year, some protection is better than none. For older adults, a repeat vaccine has been shown to be helpful in some cases. Only after the flu season is over will we really know how effective the vaccine was. Is it that contagious? I mean, do we have to take extra precautions at work? If you are sick, you should avoid going to work, especially when you're contagious during those first two or three days. Covering your mouth helps but does not fully eliminate the respiratory droplets. They probably hang in the air for minutes and then they can attach to a surface. You're not doing anyone any favors by going to work while you're sick. It's very contagious right now. If you're in a group at high risk for complications, you're older, you're pregnant, or you have a chronic medical condition, and you start to have flu symptoms, fever, cough, or aches, the antiviral medication Tamiflu, if taken in the first 48 hours, can shorten your illness. I'm Dr. Maria Simbra, KDKA TV News.